Hello, my name is Jaspal Sidhu, and I'm the founder and chairman of the SIS Group of Schools and the Inspiracy Schools, two education enterprises that have one common vision, which is to bring quality education to different income levels wherever we go. As a Singaporean and a son of a humble doorman, I know the importance of education for an aspirational family. Our schools grew in Indonesia because I was working there and I felt the urgent need to bring the price of quality education down in this lovely, very warm country, which is the fourth largest country in the world. From $25,000 a year of an international school, one of the best, we half that to 12000 a year and started the first SIS school, which was also one of the best. And then I halved that to $7,000 a year and established more SIS schools in Jakarta. And then I halved that to $4,000 a year and established SIS schools in other cities in Indonesia. And then I halved that to US $2,000 a year. These are quality schools with children going to some of the best universities in the world. Today, we're expanding these high-quality, affordable schools in Indonesia, in India, in Myanmar, in Korea, and other markets. And we do it through this very unique ecosystem, a collaborative system, for which we were awarded the Global Education Transformational Award by the Financial Times in UK and the International Finance Corporation, which is part of the World Bank. It was a validation of my belief. This is a system which allows teachers and leadership up and down the tuition fee ladder to share, to learn, and to try. No school in our network operates in isolation, and no school anywhere in the world should operate in isolation. I have five personal goals in my work. One, to ensure that wherever we are, we form a symbiotic relationship with the local government and create a very meaningful public-private partnership. Two, to ensure that any school I establish is scalable and sustainable to the satisfaction of parents, student teachers, and all our stakeholders. Three, to keep focusing on our school program, ensuring it remains relevant, preparing our children for this unpredictable world. Four, to find better ways, more innovative ways to look for to recruit and to train passionate individuals, passionate educators to join us in this ecosystem and so that we can all move in one group. And finally, my personal goal is to share what I have learned freely and transparent, transparently with others and learn also from others because this is education. If we cannot collaborate, if we are not sharing, we are hurting ourselves. We are hurting a generation out there that can make a difference to us, to our children, to our grandchildren in this very unpredictable world. When I was first asked by Sky Gems to share my thoughts, I decided to look into what this enterprise was trying to do. What were they trying to focus on? I was very happy to note that this is a platform about sharing ideas and experiences to create awareness something dear to my heart. This is a platform that we can share our pain points, our inspirational moments, be it on leadership, entrepreneurship, or any other important aspects of a business. We need that more now than ever because we are facing one of the greatest crises in mankind through this pandemic. And we will only move on successfully if we collaborate and share. So congratulations to everyone in Sky Gems for doing what they are doing. I was asked to share two important messages to all the listeners. I'll do that. Message number one, the education sector is broken. It is tilted very unfairly to those who have or a lucky few. We need to work. We need to share. We need to find innovative ideas to provide quality education to all income levels. Message number two, if you are active in the education sector and if you need to prioritize or if you can prioritize only one thing, I say to you, prioritize 
the teacher. They are overworked and under pressure. If you cannot find ways to look after their well-being, be very careful when you put them in front of 20, 30, maybe even 40 aspiring young faces. Do not expect them to deliver the kind of student outcomes that you want if our teachers are stressed. My friend in the World Bank once said to me that the best school he saw in the world was under a tree in Africa. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's the teacher. Thank you.